We have some new video this morning as DOT crews are setting up on the Veterans Memorial Bridge in Fall River. So they're preparing for fencing installation work along the ramp from Route 6 eastbound to Route 79 southbound. This follows two serious motorcycle crashes last year. The final phase of safety upgrades in that area. And reporter Alexander Leslie spoke to one of the state reps who helped to push for these expedited changes. Well, Massachusetts State Rep Carol Fiola says after a second motorcycle crash last November turned deadly, her first call was to MassDOT, and from there, a short-term and long-term plan was formulated. In February, MassDOT added some reflective strips, plus a larger, more visible sign to remind drivers the speed limit's 30 miles an hour, in addition that there was a presence of a dangerous curve. Last June, police say a motorcyclist was driving on the off-ramp when he crashed into the side barrier and flew over it, just the shallow part of the river just below. He was rushed to Rhode Island Hospital and survived. Five months later, a similar motorcycle crash took place, but the driver, Gary Amrol did not survive. Rep Fiola says she'd like to take things to the next step in terms of communication with MassDOT. We need more infrastructure improvements in our Commonwealth. You know, we get a lot of old roads and bridges, but when we're building these new ones, let's just take a little, um, a, an extra look at what could happen, even though they meet safety uh, standards. So if your commute includes the Vets Memorial Bridge, MassDOT says the right lane Route 6 eastbound will be closed 5.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. on weekdays. That fencing work expected to be complete in about a month. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. Local news now heads up for drivers in Fall River. If your commute includes the Veterans Memorial Bridge, be prepared for possible delays over the next month. That's because beginning today, the Department of Transportation is working on installing some fencing following two serious motorcycle crashes last year. Alex Santo Leslie joining us now with the details behind this project. Well, safety improvements are being funded through MassDOT's statewide bridge program and estimated to be approximately $900,000. A MassDOT spokesperson told me this includes the cost of the fence and its installation in addition to the traffic control during work hours from 530 to 130 on weekdays. Fencing being added on both the interior and exterior barriers of the ramp. This is a new video this morning. It carries Route 6 East, Route 79 South. A MassDOT spokesperson says this includes more than 1,600 linear feet of fencing. State Rep Carol Fiola, along with other local officials, called for MassDOT to add additional safety measures on the bridge last year. Fiola said she believes this new fencing will be a good remedy and is relieved that this project could be ex expedited. In recognition of uh, the severe accident last June where the motorcyclist was injured, of course, in honor of Gary Amaral and his family and friends who have uh, reached out as well, I'm glad this is going to be done and, um, and we can move on and, and maybe learn some lessons from this. Rep Fiola also tells me conversations are already underway to figure out how much money individual districts may need for road and bridge repairs should a bipartisan infrastructure bill be signed into law. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.